Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Now, if you guessed that I do have a lot of smart home devices, you guessed right, I have a lot of them. And even though they do make my life easier, sometimes it does feel like a little bit of a chore to be able to control all of them because they have different apps and different systems. But there is a solution to help me out with this, and this is coming from our sponsor for this video, which is Brilliant. And so Brilliant is a smart home control that allows you to have one place where you can go to to control a lot of your smart home devices. And so as I go through this unboxing, you can see that it comes with the Brilliant unit itself, and then also in include some extra cables and things that you may need for the installation process. And speaking of the installation process, it is pretty easy and straight to the point. So as long as your place has wires that are up to code, installation is not gonna take that long. And you just need to remove the switches off the wall that you currently have. So you just need to take off a few screws and then unplug the wires from the back of them. And then now you just need to match up everything properly to the actual brilliant. So basically don't feel like you need to be an electrician to install this. If you can follow the manual or just watch some of their YouTube videos that they have showing you how to install this, you will be set to go in just a matter of minutes. So after I got this thing installed, I put the faceplate on for the first time, booted it up, did all the software updates, setup process, all that good stuff. And so the first thing that impressed me was the display because it is bright and crisp and I could easily see it from across the room, which is nice. And then I just like how simple and clean this looks sitting on the wall. And so today I'm showing you the two switch version of the Brilliant Home. Now they do offer versions that replace either a single switch and also three and four switches. So at the core, the Brilliant Home is going to be the same across all these different versions as far as the software and the display. And so really the only differences between these versions are going to be the prices and also the amount of sliders that you have on each one. And it's gonna talk about what these sliders can do. And so I have these set up to control my lights. So I can use these to control something like my Philips Hue light bulbs and I can actually just slide them down and they'll act as a dimmer. Or I can just slide them down real quick to turn them off or slide it up to turn the lights on. So very simple process. And so you can set these up to control different devices, but for right now I just have these controlling my lights. Now this Brilliant can also control my Sonos music system. So I have a few Sonos speakers all around my place and I can come to this and control them individually. I can adjust the volume, I can change the songs or change it to another radio station if I wanted to. And so some of you may be saying, well, I can just use a Sonos app on my phone, which is true, but when I'm at home personally, I don't know where my phone is all the time. So it could be in the other room charging or it could be stuck in the couch cushion, I don't know. But it's good to know that I can come to this one place on the wall to be able to control my speakers. And then if I have people over and they wanna change the music, instead of having to unlock my phone and give it to them and trusting that I can do anything crazy with it, um, I can just send them over to this and now they can change that music. So again, this makes this system available for people who are coming over to visit, but also if you have multiple people living with you, it's just an easy way to allow everybody to have some type of control. Now, as I mentioned before, this has a nice display on it and this comes in handy if you wanna use the video chat feature. So if you do have more than one Brilliant in your place, you can actually use this as a video intercom system. So you can call different rooms and be able to video chat with the people inside of them. Or if you have kids in the room, you just want to kind of check in to see what they're doing. This works great for that. But if you are the least bit concerned about privacy, the camera does have a physical slider that you can slide over to block its view. So now you can just use this as a regular intercom just with the audio. Now this does support one-way video. So if you do have something like the Ring video doorbell, once somebody presses that doorbell, you can actually see them uh, on the Brilliant and you can choose to let them in or talk to them if they're the mailman or something like that. So that's very, very convenient. And so these are just a couple of the hardware partners that this Brilliant works with. It works with a number of different things like the Nest thermostat and Honeywell and other different smart things. So yeah, you have a lot of stuff to choose from, but what about some of the software on this thing? Well, the good thing is that it does have Amazon Alexa built in. So you can simply talk to it and say, Alexa, what's the weather gonna be like today? In St. Louis, it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 35 degrees. And some other things built into the main software is that you can set up a scene. So if you know at 5 p.m. every time you come home, you want your lights to turn on, you want your music to start playing, you can set up that scene to have that happen every single day. And you can set this up as a motion sensor. So say I want every single time I walk into this room, I want the light to turn on. It can do that when it detects the motion. And then I can also say, hey, when I'm not moving or if I walk out of the room and I'm gone for a while, it can go ahead and turn those lights off. So it can also help me with energy saving. And something else that's useful is that you can still control this when you're not at home. So you can download the Brilliant app on your iOS or Android device. And now you can still control the system if you're at work or just out and about. And you can also use this app to control the different wallpapers that it rotates through. You can see I'm a big fan of dogs, so I have a bunch of pictures of dogs that I have or dogs that I know, so yeah. 
I like using that for that. And so at the end of the day, after my time using this thing, I will tell you that it still feels like I'm just scratching the surface because I still feel like I can buy a whole bunch of other different things uh, to be able to use with this. But also too, I think it's set up nicely for the future because they have a really good partnership with a lot of different brands. I can see this thing growing out even more and more as this thing goes on. So yeah, I really like the idea of just having one place to be able to control all my smart tech instead of having to use a bunch of different apps. This makes it very easy for me and for people that come in here trying to control all my tech goodness now that can use this for that. So if you are interested in Brilliant, which I think a lot of you will be, you can go check out their website, which is brilliant.tech, and they have variations of this starting at $299, then it will go up from there depending on how many switches that you're trying to control with one single device. So yeah, I'll leave that link down below and also two links to their social media networks along with my networks and also to please be sure to leave your comment down below in this video. Let me know what you think about this. And like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.